Hello world, I'm Agitated Crane and we are back in our office, I guess. The lair, as it was called previously, and we are supposed to read a book. Now, I already checked uh, those books and uh, books in here, but we apparently have some new books teleported into our office. One is in here and one is in here. Also this, I could have sworn that I closed this. Was he rummaging through my stuff? Um, also, also. That was a trying time, so, so let's drink again. <laughs> now I wonder... Does that change anything? Huh, who knows. Uh, so... Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Yeah, that is the same. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Okay, so let's read it. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But, but don't let the romanticism of those moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? It could have been a, a sea god that was dreaming. No one knows, but, they, uh, but today's inhabitants, the sons of daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous... Eh? First time uh, reading this world, word story of their small land of the coasts of Massachusetts. Uh -huh. and there is some rock painting found in a cave in Darkwater Island. That looks like a Pokemon. Right? I'm not crazy, you see that as well, right? Anyway... All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Before I do though... I used to be an avid reader. Can I check this book as well? The Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. I have this feeling that it, this is like a skill point. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Alright. Medicine progression, yeah. So that, that was basically a skill point. Very well. Now, dark water. Okay, we have inhabitants. We have places and we have occult already. Let's uh, check this. The painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and child. Oh, I actually did not notice the child before. <laughs> Flames can be made out uh, in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it is linked to the death of his daughter. Alright. Are those tentacles... I think they are supposed to be tentacles. Now, people. Uh, he's aged 63. He's a businessman. A wealthy a wealthy businessman at, at, uh, at that. Well respected in the Boston area. Stephen Webster came to see me in order that I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. The man accepts neither refusals nor inconvenient truths. He's ready to do anything to prove that his daughter was not mad. I'm going to read those because uh, I think uh, there could be like clues about their character that maybe I should uh, take note of uh, when interacting with them. Charles 
Hawkins, deceased, presumably. Uh, he was a local celebrity on Darkwater, the heir of a shipowner family. He used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip in Paris. They fell in love, in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. So from Paris to Darkwater. When they had a chill child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. Uh, Sarah was a painter. She was also younger. Good for Charles, I guess. <laughs> a painter known for her co tortured artistic universe. Okay, she was worshipped uh, for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she once said, "I paint what my dreams whisper to me." Old Ghost confirmed, her marriage to Charles Hawkins years ago surprised high society columnists. A wealthy Boston heiress known for her party going chooses to follow her new husband and live as a recluse on the island of Darkwater. So wait, she was a party girl who... is known for uh, rarely appearing in public. I guess she... She was party girl, but then uh, she rarely appeared in public later. This is poor writing, I would say. Uh -huh. She disappeared from the front pages of newspapers and nobody heard any more about her. Even her death in a fire remained a secret. Only her father, Stephen Webster, continues con 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 continue mm, to seek the truth or continues no continue to, to seek the truth. Con continues to seek the truth. Eh? Does not matter. Occupation schoolboy. A noble profession. Only son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, he died in the fire that claimed his whole family. He had no personality. And we will probably never meet him. Island of Darkwater. It would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isola isolated rock of the coast of Boston. It is a small, inhospitable island whose coastline is made up of steep cliffs and sharp reefs, and with only one outlet to the sea. I'm thinking that that uh, comma should not be there, uh, but then again, my language skills are bad. It is mainly inhabited by the descendants of whalers who set up a supply post there in the not 19, 1800s. It was hit severely by the collapse of this activity. I think that the only venture on the island that is still profitable is its medical institute. Okay, so we will actually have um, a hospital that... Uh, well, sort of a hospital, I guess which um, we can play in okay so we have went through all of that here is the painting i guess we are keeping it uh one more before we go oh all right and now that we are drunk, let's go to see some people. Eh, okay. Pierce took the Hawkins, Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label 
an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for a Pierce's investigation. Let's go. Are we still drunk? Are we dreaming? No, this is a cinematic. We are in the mist. On the water. I wonder does Cthulhu count ships as uh, people count ships? Do you know what I mean? Like ships and ships? Like one is a seaworthy vessel and the other is uh, a woolly animal? <laughs> uh, I have stupid jokes like this for the entire game. Keep watching. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cyanide Studio. I don't remember which games they are responsible for, but um, if I'm not mistaken, they are usually like uh, games with issues. <laughs> but they should be cool games as well. We're almost there. Are you one of the fish people? Or are you visiting like me? I love the aesthetics of this game. Skilla. That's um, from mythology, right? I want to say that it's uh, something like um, Sea Hydra or something like that. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Friendly folks. Just like in the first game. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Alright. So one thing I noticed... Ah, no. It's fixed. I thought that, that uh, the um, lighthouse was not uh, shining in the light. Uh, hello? Friend fisherman? Do you talk? What if I kick you? No. Not talking. So... Are they catching? Are they biting, I guess? I guess not. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome to Darkwater. There are some people that we can talk to, hopefully. And we can go to the... Um, Harbor Master Office to check some documents or to the bar. I feel like we should prioritize the bar. Those people will not let me pass further. Prohibition! Oh, come on! Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. You better not be uh, like a bar without, without alcohol. Do their work. 
Is the police in... Is the police investigating the death of a whale? You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. Okay. That's no way to treat an omen. Yep, oh, yeah. fish people. He's gonna get us into trouble. And in you here? Understand. You're not sailors. It's we have There's something coming. Something a little spy from the depths. Beast back in the water, you shysters, you're crazy. The cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Oh. No way to treat an omen. Sadly, we did not skill up uh, in medicine. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators, and there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? That's no way to treat hmm. an omen. So we actually do learn something. Great. You are not speakable person, but you... You guys are creepy. Okay. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. What if I don't want to? Uh Okay. Let's ask about the warehouse. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't. No. Or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't put that what, what, what exactly are you doing? You shysters, you're crazy. Eh. Cops. That's they not can't matter. Understand. Uh, but we had our first medicine skill um, tryout, I guess. We now know how it works, sort of. Your chum wanted to stir us up. <laughs> nothing for you here either. You can either. stay to watch if beat you want. You can what? Pick up the beat. No. Come on, you bastard. There's nothing You'll for you here either. Beat it. Really? Okay, I cannot uh, interfere? interfere? Very well. Let's check the bar. There are a lot of those. So, the bar. Oh, we can actually walk in here as well. So people be smoking. A lot of clones in here, I would say. Or maybe just lookalikes. Anyway, let's enter. Nice. Ooh. Hey, be careful. Even nicer. <laughs> I should try that. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Okay, so I... I wonder... To test eloquence. To test strength. So so it's not actually like... Uh, the, the option uh, isn't there if you don't have the skill. It's actually the option is there and then you try to make it work. I think my strength is um, like better than uh, my uh, eloquence, but uh, if I'm going by D&D um, rules, uh, if you are using intimidation, it, it works 
at that moment, but then uh, as time goes by, they actually start to hate you, right? So you you should you shouldn't be solving the uh, diplomacy with intimidation. So let, let's try eloquence first. Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. Ooh. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I, I, I want to say that it worked. So... As it, it's, why should we even ask this? This this is silly. Um, find out about dark water. No, first let's order Captain a drink. Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. You want a drink? Yes, please. Really? No, no other option than a small glass. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Is this poison? Do you people hate me? Do you want to kill me? I think we'll get along well. Okay, we are a trusting fellow. This will affect our destiny. Okay, uh, let's find out about dark water. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about your bar. Why, stra why stranded whale? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Do you perchance know about any about Sarah ha Hawkins? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Not and a fan of art, eh? I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Oh. I wonder if there is like uh, actual like um, if the dialogue actually matters, right? Let's pretend that it does. It's not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. Yeah, do you mean a fellow philosopher. Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? So I can actually uh, check all of them. It's true that they were strange. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I have only seen one painting and uh, to be honest it wasn't that crazy. Like maybe for, for the time and uh, considering that she is a girl. But even then... I. Uh, it was a little bit edgy, but not not like insanity. Uh, enough said about Sarah Hawkins. I've got what I need. Anything else? Yes, actually. Uh, let's uh, return. Uh, I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? Looters? First off, there are rumors. 
Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? So, uh, conspiracy time. If uh, they found bo bodies in the fire, right? But uh, this is times when uh, body identification wouldn't be that uh, precise. So I'm thinking maybe either Sarah or Charles survived, like and the person that actually attacked them burned in the fire, uh, and one of them survived and, and now hiding in the warehouse. Yeah, could be, could be. Uh, shall we try piss him off? Let's talk about prohibition. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Ah, so, 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 so it's she. Okay. That'll be all for now. Could it be that she is that lady over there? Also friend? Was he watching me? Okay. Uh, so first we have a harpoon. Uh, we have uh, prices. Now thankfully n he did not ask me to pay for that uh, drink. Miss... Miss Booker always free for the lady. Okay. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Oh, so it's actually like... Um, what do you call it? Tubs? I guess. Also, also, barkeep, you have terrible writing. Like, even I have better and I have like... I, I haven't written anything in like... 20 years. Oh, prohibition. Not a fans. Uh, hello, friends. You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You so, lunatics are running the asylum. Who? The girl doctor. Cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know. I know. So you guys don't mind discussing stuff when I, when I'm standing over you. It's good to know. The Chanti Miracle Sketch. The Sila Skiller returns and saves Darkwater from famine. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last eighty years. We had given up hope. The crew of the Skilla, or what remains of it. Returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch that brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable tooth whales, the Ketishin? that is already being called the miracle sketch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship the surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits there is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marx is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. A special evening at the Stranded Whale to celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff 
of the Stranded Vale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste the miracle sketch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Yes, yes, come eat suspicious meat that will not turn you to fish people at all. Evidence catalogued. No stuff to steal. Yeah. A fellow scholar with some fancy tattoos in an unknown language. One would say Eldritch language. Before I talk to you, let me check with these singing clones. Hello, friends. Do you like our song? Yes. <laughs> We're true sirens. I wouldn't we go that far. Pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Can I buy you uh, a round or something? What is this song? I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. Yeah, I the saw special the newspaper meat. clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And mm -hmm. it was delicious. Mm-hmm. Also, wh why am I questioning the newspaper? The end of whaling. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. Or, or, you guys met a deal with the uh, whale god and uh, now you don't hunt whales because whales are your friends. And you are fish people. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. You guys are very fishes. Just like previous game. No doubt. So, lady. I don't want to talk with you just yet. Oh. Oh. Secrets? Can 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 we Ah, uh, of course it's closed. Of course. You don't let the what do you call it? The um, virtuous investigator to investigate. How dare you? So, hello, madam. What you looking at, stranger? What is a place like you doing in a woman like this? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Mm, we are not done. I told you to beat it. Damn it. Hello, friend. Okay. Okay. So, I believe that was uh, Lady... Miss... Baker? Boker? I wanna, I wanna say Baker. Although it's probably Boker. Does not matter. Let's uh, go talk to the... To the... What is that? Can I read that if I get closer? Well, there is a prologue. 
Is that supposed to be a book of Job or something like that? Is that Bible? Well, to be honest, all the Bibles that I saw looked way different. Like the, the text was uh, separated differently. But then again, I'm not a, a scholar, so I have no idea what, what I'm talking about. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. So I was sneezing, and that's apparently all that we can get out of him, okay? Apparently a sneezing season. Uh, lady? I told you to beat it. All right. I guess we blew our chance. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't have tried to be charming. I guess it's the same as uh, with me. You again? What can I get you? Whenever I try to be nice with ladies, it always backfires. I guess we are done here. Can I get one uh, told me about for the road? You want a drink? You know what? I don't want to become a raging alcoholic in That'll the game. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's uh, get out. And... Oh, a lantern. Can I pick, pick it up? Why, why does it glow so om ominously? Is it maybe like a collectible? Should I destroy it somehow? Huh, who knows. Uh, now. Now, now, now. Eh, I don't want to check with cops. I think we have done what we could there. First I go around. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is that uh, skill up that brought uh, Miraculous Catch that um, I guess changed everyone into fish people. Can we enter in here? Yes, we can. Hello, Mits Mr. Fitzroy. Do you mind if I loot your house blind? Oh. Oh. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain! Captain! The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier, Cat. So I'm guessing Cat is... Uh, that lady there. Uh-huh. Some maps. Fancy, fancy. I'm Fishing back. equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. All right. Can we open this door? Yes, we can. It's a toilet. Is there loot in the toilet? Oh, some stuff is missing from the toilet. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a nice toilet, actually. I have seen worse. Uh, let's close it behind us. A schedule. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. I'm not going to comment on, comment on that veil over there. On that white whale mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a scylla it finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor 
I actually at one point wanted to collect ships like uh, models like like this one, but then uh, I saw one uh, um, at my friends, and uh, while it, it it looked great, uh, it was very dusty, and I was thinking like if I had a model like that, it would get very dusty and I would be pissed. Then I considered maybe like uh, ships and bottles, but uh, that would take, I think, like serious work. Like, I think if I decided to collect them, I would actually want to build them as well. And I don't think I have uh, the skill required and time to, to do that as well. Oh, that's... Um what would you call it? A disrepair, I guess. Ah, second floor, okay. A ladder, can can we walk on the ladder? We cannot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is that? That is... Um, I want to say whale throwing over a boat, I guess. Oh, more medicine. Volume 2. The second volume teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. Thank you. See? Exploring pays off. Now let's go get killed. By sticking our nose somewhere where it doesn't belong. State house. Very well. Uh huh. I love this era. Oh, S uh, what do you call them? Ah, shells, shells. Is it shells? Mhm. Mm can I get... Oh! Huh! So why did it trigger? So, mouse wheel, if I click it, it... Um, uh, activates the lighter, right? So far, it doesn't look like it has um, um, a fuel bar. Maybe that will change. But I was actually trying to like scroll uh, to magnify, I guess. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Right. In this photograph, a man who looks. Uh, like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. It is actually a photograph of Captain Fitzroy. Perhaps uh, a relative. Who knows? New clue. Memorized. So I, I wanted to look at this because it looks... Uh, like I, I can barely make out stuff. I think there is like a... Man or woman on rocks, and then beneath that is some sort of dragon. Yeah, I guess nothing there. What a macabre souvenir! I wouldn't like. Now we cannot look if something is hidden in it. I guess not. People, why do you have green fire? Is this because you are still burning that uh, oil from um, that uh, mysterious veil? I bet that is the case. So, Mr. Fitzroy, I take it you ate the mysterious meat? 
and your leg grew up uh, back, right? And now you are immortal, and you have been living on this island for the f past uh, 80 years, or uh, how, how, however much was it? Uh, um, I guess we can close this. No need to have it opened. And now can we... Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Okay, so it's broken. We cannot disturb him, disturb him like that. Hello, I have questions. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Can I talk with you? I brought out the Charles okay, Hawkins I cannot. cargo manifests. Never mind. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Let's see. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907 and the partial date. The rest of the document is blocked, blacked out. Who would have wanted this information to be hidden? Yes, indeed, who? And he teleported. No, he slowly walked. Okay, not as creepy. Uh, I couldn't help but notice that you are moving as if um, you still had wooden leg. <laughs> From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. So... First, let's talk about dark water. I feel like we need uh, to learn stuff. Uh, so... This will get us um, into muddy waters. So will this. So let's talk about the killer whale first. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Not like you, right? Uh, the wounds are unnatural. I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to cause them. And I took you for a detective. Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on dark water. And already you think like a sailor. So why are they throwing it back into water? The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Surely you could feed, uh, feed the meat to something, someone, something. Like... I, I know it's dead and it probably has been dead for a while. But even then, like, uh, I think you can use the fat for oil, if I'm not mistaken. Bones for something as well, and meat. Uh, well, it depends how how much, uh, how bad it is, right? But uh, yeah, that that whale is probably bad, bad meat. It's not for eating, even not not even for like. For animals. What is this miracle sketch that you have eaten and now you have uh, green fire everywhere, everywhere, and um, which allowed you to grow back your limbs? The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not Why do all. I think that? It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. It's not that insane. 
why, why do I not believe it? It's just some some sailor caught a whale and fed, fed it to everyone. So, where did you get your new leg? I was looking at your photograph, the one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Yeah, right. My father, John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. So this cat. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. We will eat her later. Okay. Uh, your documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't know your office countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Yes, I did thought that. But not fishing, right? The, the, the veiling. I think that, that that was the issue, right? Or maybe the fishing as well. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. Yeah, whaling. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I oh. imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. So, what do you know about Warehouse 36? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Yeah, so I guess I can't get it there until... Um, you know who the building belongs to, don't you? Well, gets taken care of. Well, it is game, but we can either lie, we can, uh, well, right, we did find find this out, but we will try to investigate. I, I wonder if it's like, um, you know, in some games, if you use the skill, it, it will uh, passively increase. Uh, I don't think that that is the case in here, but uh, let, let's do that any, anyway. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Okay, so I guess um, we have exhausted all I the options with way. you. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Very well. And we got, we got one experience for that. I'm still using that, um, what would you call it? Ah! But now it works like walking. Now it's not leaning. I guess uh, when I was in the office I was close to the table and stuff like that, so... Uh, I considered that proximity to the wall, so I started leaning. But walking actually works like walking. Okay. Uh, some new people entered the... Stranded whale. Let's check with cops again. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Well, they no way to treat they, no man. they did oh, yeah? make a progress on the whale. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. How dare you? Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now please, leave us to our work. 
You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Mm -hmm, the cops, mm -hmm. They can't understand. Can I check you one more time? These wounds. I know of no animal that could have inflicted them. I guess not a new. Another fisherman. That I cannot talk with. Uh huh. I'm just going to explore this stuff be before I go into the warehouse. I feel like there should be something interesting. Okay, now. I do have lock picking. And I do want to try it out, but I feel like. The cops would see me. Ah, the mysterious language that was tattooed on that um, scholar's uh, hand, I guess. Can we not look at it uh, closer? And he's faceless. Wonderful. Sand Brandon, the navi navigator. Huh. Oh? St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. So I actually... My skills in occultism already paid out. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try to lockpick that, that door. Surely no one would care. Hmm. There. Okay, no one cared. Let's check it in here. Find the hi hidden items. The spot hidden skill allows you to detect the hidden items. And that was all. Now. Can I burn this down? Hello, old friend. Oh, bottle of li li liqueur. Wonderful. Uh, let's leave. Uh, let's check this place as well. Bet there is something interesting. Like maybe if I if my hidden um, spot hidden skill was better, maybe I would have been fighting stuff in here as well. So far, I like this game a lot. It uh, it doesn't look like it has. Um, uh, Weapons. As of yet, it looks to be just um, like point and click adventure, almost. Mm -hmm. It's curious that uh, running does not have um, stamina bar. Hello. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I beg your pardon. I had never... have done such a thing. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Well... First, let's talk about the island. Uh, this Saint Brendan of yours. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Hmm. So... 
I'm thinking that maybe if if you don't have if if you have the skill, you would have learned uh, about Saint Brandon back there. But if you didn't, you would learn about him in here. I wonder if that's the case with um, everything, or if uh, this is just starting location, so it it gives you like all the hints. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. So you don't have any work? Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. Why am I not judging them? I drank as well. Here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. And those guys that uh, are keeping the guard. Two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers, scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Who is cat? Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Okay. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Carry on. Uh huh. Now I could go to them, and I probably will as well. You could tell me. Before that, no, though. If it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut on the docks. Not even. And don't go look in there. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? Oh. I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. I see. So I can actually spy on people as well. Interesting. Who's now, can I talk no with you? Idea. You better keep it shut. Hello. <laughs> What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Okay. Who does this belong to? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Yes. Everybody knows us on dark water. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Oh, so Kat is muscling in on the um, territory. Kat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's no, the broken boss, windows. Yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> So did you deface the St. Brendan statue? I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So it looks like we can actually pursue this cat uh, thing further. She sounds frightening you. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. I tried to talk with her, but she re she refused. Mm, is this what going are you to be guarding, just exactly? Listen, bonehead. We already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. Well, it's slightly different dialogue, but. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This passage leads to the Haw Hawkins warehouse. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. 
I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. Oh. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Mm, all right. Uh, I'm. I'm. Uh, see. Not yet. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. You know. I will try that eventually, but first I want to check with um, the dock master uh, and with the uh, cat inside. Um, in the water, you shysters! You're crazy. Inside the tower. You didn't tell me that the warehouse. I was because it's on, and I don't want to see you now. Please. You can't okay, understand. That's You're not sailors. What we heard before. There are some new people sitting there, but I bet we cannot talk with them. Oh, we can. We're Hello. no longer at home on our own island. Calm I see. Down. It's not worth the effort. I told him, that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that. Everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. So I guess shitstorm is coming. Mm-hmm. Hello? Back again. <laughs> what can I do for you? Sorry. The bootleggers have blocked access to the warehouse. These bootleggers seem unwilling to let anyone approach the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. Yeah. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. Interesting. Now, I also wanted to talk with Kat. Baker. Boker. Baker. And with this caustic dude. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted I guess with he doesn't have anything new. Until it finds a new reader. Also, I just noticed that I have spent in, I have spent way too much time on this video. Oh, something is happening there. So, what is going to happen? I think I will cut this um, episode here. Uh, we will return shortly. Uh, when we do, we will check with Kat. If we see something, uh, like may maybe she will talk with, uh, with us now. If she won't, we will lie. I think they are, like, pawny enough to be convinced by our lies. Uh, also, in the next video, we will check uh, all this uh, cool stuff that we unlocked, like... Um, flavor text and stuff like that uh, hopefully there will be some clues as well anyway i have been agitated crane i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like write a comment subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and have a great day goodbye